Warriors, the second team we're going to feature here tonight. They will be taking on the Kings Knights in that first week of the Fox 19 Friday prep rally. And Greg, we know last year, our first year of covering the G-Walk in its entirety, this was a team that we sure liked to watch. It was explosive offensively. Of course, Dusty Isaacs, the quarterback, and uh, Ohio commit uh, Chase Cochran, first team all tri-state both pre- and postseason last year. They have graduated, but still plenty of talent left in the cupboard for Coach Sean Lamb and the, his Lebanon Warriors. Well, you got to think so. I mean, you know, 15-5 and five the last two years, the team's missed the playoffs just barely, uh, a share of the title in the G-Walk South. And, you know, they are the cream of the crop. Them and Springboro have become a very great rivalry in the G-Walk South. And, and again, uh, week one, they got another backyard rivalry against Kings. A, a very good schedule, and Sean Lamb pushes these guys to the limit. No doubt about that. A lot of great talent in the G-Walk is hold. We're sitting up here with three uh, of those people that fall into that category. It is offensive team. Whoa. Offensive tackle Nick Stotts, uh, wide receiver um, as well as now free safety Brady Wolf, and Luke Gosshorn, the kicker uh, slash defensive back. And uh, as Greg mentioned, he went perfect last year. We'll talk about that. Let's start here with our member of our uh, 2010 preseason all tri -State football com team, second team offensive lineman Nick Stotts. And Nick, uh, definitely, first of all, congratulations on you know being honored as that, basically saying you're one of the top ten offensive alignment out of 132 schools a lot of talent there but you know offensive line is it is it to me I mean the most unglorified position in sports I mean there's not a lot of stats that are out there you guys aren't getting the highlight videos rarely are you being nominated for player of the weeks or anything like that you know what to you about any of that motivates you and, and, and the guys up front with you in the trenches where the game's off and won and lost uh, we just focus on like how many like our thousand yard rushers and 2,000 yard pass and stuff like that. You know, Nick, when you talk about that, the strength of your line or the strength of your team sometimes gets overlooked, and it was your line the last couple of years. Who joins you this year, and, and as far as uh, returning players on that line, and, and what do you like about what where your line's headed in 2010? Um, I'm the only returning starter, and then uh, we have a couple seniors, a couple juniors fighting for positions, and that's about it. Now, Nick, uh, not just at Lyme, but a lot of guys graduated. You're going, all you guys up here are, are now seniors. Torch has been passed. I mean, what to you does it mean to be a leader, and, and, and how do you think your class is going to respond to that challenge? I think we're responding very well. Um, it's uh, just to see the progress we've made without the seniors from last year, which was a really good class. So we're working hard every day and still going. To your right.